Hi everyone, I'm still in the bushveld and this morning I'm looking for Impala. Just look at this beautiful sunrise. The bushveld sunrise is just amazing. These are Impala tracks. This one here is Impala EU. And there's another one. And there's another one. There's a motorbuck. There's a woodpecker. You don't want these guys to stick in your socks. The Lumpurpa River boosts twice this year high bridge banks and it forms this this valleys full of water. I think I've lost them. It's just too much. 
eyes and ears and too much cover for them and the sun also is not in my favor so see if I can spot them on the bed The South African president announced a national lockdown because of the coronavirus. So um, I just happened to be in the bushveld at the time, and uh, so I'm locked down here in the bushveld. But um, at least there's a lot of pain, and uh, I'm hunting, so there's enough meat to eat. Not eight of them. This is my word. A lot of people are not 300 meters away. They are just too alert. They see me from a distance. There are just too many eyes and ears. And uh, the wind was wrong. So, um, gonna have to continue and see if I can find another herd.
berdua dengan aku kata Terserah ini pun sebalik ni I think I feed the one, the one ram, the one on the right. Uh, it sounded like it, so let's quickly have a look. If it's really dark, I'm gonna have to leave it a little while to settle down. But let's see. It was standing around about here somewhere. Shot that stick here somewhere here. Those little tracks, and then he ran off to the left. Yep, as I feel it. I hope this is a good shot placement because it's almost in the middle of the day and it's very hot already. There it is. <laughs> Not even 10 yards. Beautiful. I was worried that I uh, maybe misplaced the shot because it was a fairly quick, quick shot. But it didn't even go 10 meters, so I think I hit him exactly where I wanted. Spare me a lot of tracking in this heat. Perfect art shot. Look here. Exactly. Maybe just an inch behind the front legs. So uh, it was a perfect shot. I'm glad. I was a little bit worried when I woke up and he didn't just drop there. But usually, a art shot and a long shot I ran off for about 70 to 100 to 150 meters before they drop. I'm sitting in a few thorns. So I was tracking the whole morning in Pala since 6 o'clock this morning. It's now around about half past 10, I think. And um, I sneak up to a few herds, but they, was, they were just too alert. Too many eyes, too many ears. They just see you long before you see them. And then they, um, there's no way that you can stop them. But I've tried and I kept going. I went through a few herds and um, I maybe had a shot or two, but about three, four hundred meters away. I wasn't comfortable with taking the shot. And uh, I managed to get a shot in on this young ram. Um, unfortunately, it looks like my camera was knocked down again when I tried to take footage of it. But nevertheless, it was a clean shot. It was a hard shot, about 180 meters away maybe. And um, the ram didn't even go 10 meters. So, I'm now going to dress this ram and um, while we're in a, in a lockdown period, I mean this meat's going to come really handy. And I'm going to cook up in some real nice liver and kidney stuff. Okay, so I'm back at camp. I shot the Impala. Um, about an hour and a half ago 
and I'm really tired, really hungry and I'm gonna prepare myself some kidney and livers and uh, I'm also gonna show you how I like to prepare it okay so first you wanna brown some onion I like uh, I like a lot of onion in my uh, livers and kidneys a little bit of oil I've got two onions here because I don't have a lot of liver and, and kidneys As we wait for the onion to brown, I'd like to tell you this. About 400 meters away from where I shot the Impala, there was a black mama crossing the road. And I stopped next to it. I thought I'll, I'll take a little video. And I saw this guy's coming back. So I came back and um, tried to cross the road again but I was in the way so we went underneath the bucky and um, I tried to get the bucky back into gear this guy I saw his tail on the right hand side coming underneath the bucky but on the left hand side no mamba comes out and this is a big guy he's about 3.5 to 4 meters so I, th I think he went into the engine it took me about 20 or 30 minutes to try and find him in the bucky well i didn't find him so maybe he's still there i don't know but uh, i'm not particularly scared of snakes but this is a big mamba and black mambas they are just they're just a very scary snake so in this week already two black mambas good so now i've got a little bit of um, liver here and I've got the two kidneys of the Impala um, that's enough for me what I like to do is add a little flour to it and um, a little bit of flour a little bit of seasoning I only got the steak and chops here well I've got very limited supplies after all it is national lockdown a little bit of Worcestershire sauce just a little bit and then salt I'm gonna add this again and then a little black pepper just need to figure out how to maneuver this thing with one hand there you go then just mix it up a little bit add maybe a little bit more flour Just a little bit more. I think that's okay. Next you want to brown the, the livers and kidneys. Just a little bit. And then add the onions back again. And for this amount, just a half a block of beef stock, just a half one. And then I've got only this hearty beef soup. Like I said, I've got limited supply, so this is all I've got. This is the last one. So let's use that. Just a little bit of it. There we go. I like to add a little bit of cream as well. Just a little. Oh, ooh, and that's nice. And then some Worcestershire sauce. A little bit more, according to your taste. Again, some spices. I only got st steak and chops. So a little bit of that, a little bit of salt, there we go, 
and then black pepper I like a lot of black pepper and onions in my livers and kidneys and I'm gonna put in some more afterwards as well you can also add some chili that's also nice I like a lot of black pepper Mm. It really smells fantastic. So let's try it. The best way to have liver and kidneys, in my opinion. It's a traditional South African pup, but I'm just too hungry now to wait. so good mm.